In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a working timer clock inside of Islands. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do smack a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And let's get right into it. So before we do get into this video, there's some key tips that you need to know before. You need to make sure that you watch the whole video because I'll be including everything on how to make this inside of this video. So that means you'll have to actually watch the full video to find out everything that you need to know because there's some little things that you need to adjust on some splitters on the values and I'll be covering that right at the end and making it set up so it actually works. So make sure you do watch this video to the end. Also make sure you do subscribe, like and comment. This actually took me five hours to actually figure this out. So make sure you do subscribe. Okay, let's actually check out this design then. Uh, okay, it's simple. The lever turns off, the lever turns on to basically power it off. So that's powered off and that's powered on, right? So what we want to do, we want to head in here. So this is on how it works. It looks kind of crazy, but we'll split it down in this video so you understand. I won't be including in this video the power source, okay? Because it's kind of simple, you just have to connect it to a power source, but I will be showing you this system here so you can actually make it yourself. So you want to actually build this. So you need to actually get some LEDs and place this around like this. So you want to do like a figure of eight, like a digital clock, like this, all the way up and around like that. So it should look like this. I'm going to build it right next to it so I can like look in to make sure I'm doing it correct as well. All right. So I don't forget a key feature inside of it. So this is the basic design of what you want to do. Now you want to build out by three. So we're going to be building this in a three block formation okay and up right so we won't be needing a wider space or anything because we want to keep this as compact as possible and not taking up as much space as we want it to so let's actually get into this so i will try my best and explain everything in as much detail as possible so you can understand this all right now we've actually opened this up now we can see the kind of design and uh, that we need to do so what we're going to do we are going to copy this design right here all right so let's actually get started so let's actually place one of these combiners right here so i won't be showing you how to actually make all of this stuff i'll just be showing you how to make the clock so you will need a lot of resources i think i must have spent over a thousand electrolyte to be able to actually make this so it's kind of crazy Okay, now we've got the combiner place. We want to put a timer on this block here. So now we've got the combiner place here and the timer place here. So it's very crucial that you do not skip this video. Find out, you know, more of the interesting parts, let's call it, because this video is purely on how to make the timer. And if you miss a step, then maybe it won't work for you. So you have to make sure you get it perfect. All right, so what we want to do, we want to place this XOR gate switch right here. And then we want to place two splitters, one on this side right here and one right here so it should look something like this so just so we don't lose our place what we're going to do we're going to put one right here all right so we're going to connect the left side up to this block right here so now that's the step kind of like so that's what you want to do so this will trigger this row so this kind of triggers number two okay so with the xor switch we want to connect this one up with here Okay, we'll come back to this part in just a moment. What we want to do, we want to sort out the switch. So this is where it will trigger the switch, all right? So this right here will be connected to this switch here. And then this, this part here is the input. So this is the power source. We're not going to connect the power source until the end of the video, but you definitely need a switch to be able to power this. Next, what you, what you want to do is actually build this part. So you want the AND switch and the splitter. So you want to place the splitter like this and we want to put an AND switch here as well. Right now we got the AND switch placed. We want to place one block like this and one here as well. So two splitters. So one should be looking this way and one should be looking just to the left of it. Then we want to do is place a timer here and then another splitter right here. So at this point, we could we could potentially start adding stuff, all right? But I want to make sure that we have everything placed before we do that, just so we can understand everything that needs to be done. Right now, let's place one of these XOR gates right here, and then place another timer. 
and also you will need another splitter. So we'll be using a lot of splitters in here because we need to direct different powers to different areas so everything can work together. So at the minute, it probably looks really, really confusing and you might not understand this. Okay, we're gonna start off with this part. So we're gonna work from the start and work our way all around up here and then we're gonna approach this part and do this part. So let's actually get started on this. We want to place a block right here. So we want to cross it onto the area that we want it to go. Then we want to place this one right here all the way up to this block right here. So it powers this and it keeps the flow going. Right, so this is actually going to power the number I. So the number one. So this is actually going to power number one. So we want to place this right here. This provides the primary power for the starting point of number one. So you want to place it right there. So at the minute, we're not going to put any power to it or anything like that. We're just going to purely go through here and fit everything together. And then we can focus on the power and actually making the letters work. Before we do continue, make sure you do put an XOR switch backwards. All right, facing this direction. All right, one thing to watch out is make sure you actually place this in the opposite direction. So this light should be the purple light and then this light should be the input light. It just makes it a little easier to understand this setup. So I'm just gonna be rotating this around so I don't get confused along the way. So now we've got that sorted, now it'll look a little more easier to do. So you wanna attach this one to this one and this one to the other one like that. So it look, should look something like this at this point. It should look like a little arrow fit direction and then one striking across it. So this is what we've done so far. And then it attaches up to there. All right, perfect. Now we're good to continue this part. Remember at any time in this video, if you want to pause it and roll back, you're welcome to do that. And make sure you share this to your friends because this is very, very good. To know and maybe it will make more setups advance in the future when the timer strikes one then it will reset and maybe that will be like some sort of indicator to your farms every three seconds it turns off and triggers the other one we can also do that make sure you do leave a like on this video if you want to see more like this and if you want me to use this setup in different kind of ways right so this splitter right here we want to connect this one up to the timer here so this timer is critical for this build if you want to hit number three on this clock so that that's that's pretty good all right that that is definitely needed unless if if, if you just want to hit number two then do not include this into your build but because we are going for the highest numbers and we're going to be extending this and expanding it to see if we can get all the way up to number nine Next, we want to head back to this splitter and attach it to this input here. So this get, this kind of uh, keeps it going. So you can only you you could potentially use one. So if you are only going up to number two, you do not have to include this splitter here. You only need this one. That also doesn't mean that you need to attach this or this to the to the thing you need. Right. So we're going to place one of these right here. So again, I'm just going to rotate this XOR switch just so I don't get confused because I am kind of going off of my other one there just just so I get it perfect first time and I won't need to go back through to make sure I got it correct. So you want to place that one backwards so it should be facing. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if it is facing the other way. It's just how I want to do it. So we want to get this path through on splitter and then we want to put it right here. So that is what we want to do. Now we're complete on this part of the setup. We do have a little bit more XOR switches. All right, so we're gonna actually come over to here. We're gonna go through the pass through again to so the purple one and attach it to this input. So this brings it across to there. So it kind of like rotates around the timer and it makes everything kind of work. Honestly, I'm not too sure how it exactly works, but it took me a big grind to be able to figure out how all of this works and to actually get it sorted for you. All right, make sure you do attach these ones together like that. Attach this splitter with this up to the top here and then grab the other one and bring it up to here So this triggers the other part of the circuit for the second number Let's grab this one from the timer and then put this all the way back bring it all the way back to this one right here So it kind of should look a bit like this at this point in time. It is very very confusing I do understand if you don't understand this just yet, but you can always rewatch the video if you need a bit more information on it. You want to get the input from the combiner and wrap this all around to this one right here. 
Okay, so let's say I want this triggered to some sort of farm or something. So I'm just going to put that block right there. And we're going to get the wire tool and we're going to attach it to this block right here. So this is kind of like the extension if you want to extend it to anything else around your base. So when this is triggered and when the circuit hits number three, it will reset the timer. And it will also trigger this response so everything inside of your farm will drop in a quick time. So it, it is a little trial and error. You can attach this if you don't. For this one I use the firework launcher, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do. With the splitter we're just going to quickly remove it and we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to put this one all the way up to the second one. So this triggers number two. So make sure you do connect this block right here with your O your XOR switch and also you want to repeat that process back to this so it kind of keeps the route and then put this one right here so what this one is doing right here it's kind of triggering this so this this splitter down here is triggering this one to turn off and then this one over here is actually triggering this one to turn on and it kind of so when this timer goes off and it kind of keeps repeating Pretty much, if you look at this, it keeps switching over and over to this one and then to that one. Alright? So if you've done all of this and if you followed correctly so far, it, looks, it should look something a little bit like that. Make sure you do connect these inputs and outputs on the top together. Alright, so this is the part that we pretty much finished this side of the the design all right so you could add this at the back so let me just show you how it works i won't be doing this however let me show you let me make a little uh, design so if i get some solar panels all right so let's say if you have two solar panels you want to connect the two solar panels together on here so that doubles the amount of current that's coming in through this one and maybe if you have another one you could place one next to it and then now you have two then you want to have one more and put it here okay and then attach these ones together if it was the blue one right so it's that simple on how to make the current and you want to get that to at least 200 just so it has the time i'm not going to be using the coal system until I wish there was some sort of electric storage or something that we could use, but at the moment there isn't. So as you can see, this one is 240, so we put, kind of stack them inside of the build. It's up to you how you want to do this part, but in this case, I'll be disconnecting this source, and I'll be putting it to this one right here. Okay, now you can see that this is working. So if this goes either side, and if that one up the top is lighting up, that is indicating that you've done it correct. So now it's just a case of kind of messing around with the system to try and get the lights exactly perfect. But you won't need to worry about doing that as I'll be covering it in this video on how to actually do it. So we want to touch this light with this one, okay? And then put that one like that. So now this should be what we need to do. So let's move this one all around, all the way down to the bottom. So we just want to keep picking it up and put in one like that. So you can kind of see the one coming together, so like one, and then this turns into two. So we need to get a two here. So this block here, you will not need this block at all, unless if you're gonna go all the way up to number nine. So this part's a more of a trial and error, because you want this light to light up everything else. So I think we've missed something here. So let's just follow this back. So that's connected. Ah, so we're missing this one. So we need to connect this one up. So to repeat the process, we want to put this to the pass through. So now that should work. Look, as you can see, everything's lit up as planned. So this top part's done. We need to connect this one. So let's put that one there. All right, let's see if that lights up. Okay, that lights up to number two. Uh, and then we want to bring that one round to there. And then put that one up there. All right, so that indicates, I think, two. Yeah, two. All right, perfect. Look, so we've got one and we've got two. So if you want number three, it is a little more difficult, but I'll show you how to do this. So you want to turn this top one up to 2080. So let's put that up to there. Let's see what happens now. All right, so that one and then two. So to make it number three, we want to put this down to here. All right, so we're going to be copying this one a little bit because this is very, very difficult to be able to actually trigger it. So it goes into number three. Because you have to get the correct time delay on it. So it is kind of difficult at this point. So you want to put that one. Okay, right. We need to disconnect this here. So let's just disconnect that. 
and then put this like that. All right, so that's slowly looking a bit better. So two, all right, all right. Right, so it only went to one to two, but as soon as the day cycle came, uh, it, it kind of just suddenly started working. So there's a three. You can kind of see it flash every so often. So to fix that, we have to actually come into here. So some lights won't be working at the minute as obviously the solar panels need to get sun. So we just want to go over to here and we just want to change it and just watch it to see if we can get that to slow down. So in often cases, when the, it's like first starts up, it might go a little quick or a little blink and then it will go back to normal. It, it It's kind of random really. But it goes one, okay, right, three. Uh, so we need to bring that down. So, so this takes a little trial and error and just trying to time it because look, this this shouldn't flash on one side and then flash on the other. It should kind of be green and then green together for like a, roughly about a second and then they turn off almost at the same time. That indicates that it does work, all right? Uh, so we just have to try getting it all into time. So let's just block this signal off for a little bit. All right, that slows it down. And then let's put that back to 50. Let's see if that fix it. Okay, no. So it's still flashing a little bit. Uh, I think we messed with one that we shouldn't have somewhere. I can't remember what one it was. Ah, here it is. So let's just turn this all the way down to 50. All right, let's see if this makes it perfect. All right, it's, you, you kind of see that it's got a little slower. All right, so we've actually made it go down in time for some reason, and this one goes up in time. Okay, that's kind of strange because we did it exactly the same as this one, right? But this one's going down in time. So you can potentially trigger a circuit into here that makes it go up in time or down in time. And this triggers, look, you can see it. Every time it hits one, you can see that light shining. So let's actually link a source up to here, just so you can see it a little more easily. So let's just link a source up to that. Right, so one, and then it should flash. Ah, okay, look, it's got zero in. Yeah, so it doesn't have the power to be able to reach this, unfortunately. However, at the end of the day, you can see, look, now it's counting up in time. So it's kind of it's kind of strange, really, how it works, and it doesn't. However, this is basically the setup on how to do it. Now it's counting one to two, but you can see it definitely works. Uh, I, th I just think it's maybe the time or something, but that's ba the basic setup on how to do it. It looks really, really complex, and I know it is. However, this setup works really, really well. So I'm going to connect this back to my source over here. So this is counting down in time now. It used to count up in time. Now it's counting down in time. So it, I think it might be due to the sunrise. So if it's negative, it goes down in time. And maybe when it reaches like the 12 o'clock kind of zone, it goes up in time. It's kind of strange how it works at the minute. But I mean, it definitely works. I never did that before. That's kind of interesting. But guys, if you did enjoy this video and if you did like my design, make sure you do smack a like subscribe and leave a comment down below we have a lot more videos to cover on this kind of method and what to do also so thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out